Hey everybody, Brian here for QuantLabs.net. I was uh, approached to potentially attend a, a, a conference for artificial intelligence and trading, um, be part of a panel. So I thought, why don't I give you my opinion on these, specifically around quant? Now, I've never been to any of these, and there's a good reason why. Um, the reason I don't go to a lot of these conferences is that I've been to enough in other industries where it's just a bunch of people getting together, networking, uh, and uh, sharing trading ideas, which is fine. But I guess for me, I'm in a unique situation where I run this, this website, my blog, my social media, and I've got, I estimate 10, 15,000 people that are part of that. I get a lot of trading ideas um, that come to me. Uh, if I put the word out for anything I need or want, like capital, trading ideas, I get a slew of people that approach me. And some of them are really good. Some of the money and capital is really huge. Um, so I could talk about that as well. But let's just focus on the conferences. A lot of these conferences, from what I'm understanding, are attended by, uh, in this vein, a lot of academia. In my experience with our um, people that do so-called R models and R trading in the world of, as I said, R. A lot of them come from the world of academia, and a lot of them don't trade. So when you come up with an idea, you try to commercialize it, they'll slander you for it. So the R community is, to me, not a good community to be part of. Python, I can't really say. I've only been at it for a couple of months, but I've not received the hate and, and the negativity that I've had with Python. So there seems to be some good quant conferences related around Python, which is good. Obviously, there's this one called QuantCon. Um, let me just find it here. Uh, this one, no. Um, here it is, uh, put on by Quantopian. Uh, we know about Quantopian. Uh, they're good for beginners. We know there's severe limitations on algorithms in trading. Um, from what I and I last I heard, it's been probably a few months. Their uh, strategies are only really useful for U.S. equity. Um, they're only uh, good for uh, interactive brokers and, and um, what's the other one? Uh, Robinhood, the broker, the free broker. Um, and I've not heard good things about it. Um, I'm referring to Robinhood, so I'm not sure why um, people would want to gravitate to services like this where it's really meant from what I see beginners um, and uh, like I said it's pretty severely limited on the kind of trading assets you, you have meaning as far as I know U US equity only I think they're trying to probably expand into things like uh, uh, Forex and other asset classes which is fine but just just so everybody understands that this one again um, for Python quants, I think these guys are good too. Um, the one thing I like about this particular, if it's put on by um, the Dr. Eves, yips, I, I don't know the guy's name, but um, I've gone through his book. It's it's awesome actually. It's one of the best books that I've come across. Um, it covers just not only trading but web enabled services that you may want to put out and really some interesting stuff that I'm not seeing before. So I can't really say uh, this one, but um, if it's using the philosophy that I like where you create your own source code, deploy your own source code, that's good. The problem with something like a Quantopian is it's a cloud solution. So we've talked about that security, blah, blah, blah. I'm not insinuating uh, Quantopian's part of that or question, but um, it's good for beginners. I'll leave it at that. This one's probably a little more advanced, more useful, at least maybe on the technical side. I, I don't know. I you know a lot of these these are um, fairly affordable. And the person I was um, referring to with um, this Dr. Eve Hip Hiplish, I, I don't know if I got that right, um, but this is quite good. His book is 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 good. Out of the let's say the three. Uh, for Python development and trading, Quantstart, Quantopian, um, and some other ones I've seen. His book, this this book is 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 the best one out of all of them. 
each one's different, covers each topic, but if I had to read just one book, this would be it. So based upon that, this conference may be pretty good, but again, I don't know. Um, I just don't have a use for one of these. Again, these are really good for beginners. Okay, so we cover quant, 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 Python quants. Uh, I guess these are all in um, uh, New York. And of course, we got our friends here. I'm not going to mention names that have time and time again uh, th threatened with lawsuits and uh, try to take down my YouTube channel. So right there, that association is uh, something I, I don't support. Um these ones are more professional, uh, risk quant, quant summit. These are where you're going to get the big boys at, um, you know, more, more institutional level stuff. These are the ones I'm probably more interested in going to, um, if I had an account that grew, um, but I'm not, I'm not going to get any. These are, there's one that's fairly expensive, uh, $10,000, I think entry fee, as I was told by some insiders, uh, to keep the riffraff out. I think they're referring to these kind of conferences. Um, so these are again more um, institutional and a good place I know to know um, why they're good is because of these sponsors. Numerics is a good, uh, I believe it's a, a library. Again, I don't know. I'm not an expert in any of this. Quant conferences, I have no idea what this is about. Um, I guess uh, some of these are coming up. I'll talk about the trading show in a minute. Um, I'm going to talk about this one. This, if this is the one that I think is the best one, you get all the head of, um, look at all the banks, global head of risk and analytics, HSBC, head of quant solutions, uh, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, Bloomberg, uh, Brewer to buyer. So you do get some really good, uh, people um, that are go that goes to this HSBC again, Citibank, Pimco, Global Head Research. So this is the one I think is probably the one you'd want to go to. Registration fee, I have no idea. Probably this is the one, the really really expensive one. And um, okay, so let's see what else we got. There's a uh, Princeton, I think. Okay, here's a list here. Um, global derivatives. I think this is another one. Um, again, I don't know. But John Hall, good guy, University of Toronto. Uh, all these other people I don't know, but you got Pimco, Guggenheimer, like this Bruno du du Dubuyer guy, he's everywhere. Um, so I'm not sure what to, to make of that. Um, so I can't really say what one's good, what one's not, but from my perspective, uh, I'll show you the big reason why I don't go to a lot of these conferences. Um, where's my list? Oh, this one, we're going to talk about the trading show. <clears throat> the trading show, uh, is usually, um, a, a big disappointment. Uh, I've, I've been to one in Toronto. From what I see, it's usually just retail traders trying to find the next big idea. Um, and it's just commercial stuff, you know, vendors and stuff selling trinkets of, of ideas, black box technologies I've hinted at on the weekend in, in, in an email. Um, for me, I, I don't go to these. Um, some may be useful for others that are, that are outside of development, I guess. So I guess they're useful for people. Um, and I know there's other ones like uh, R and Finance, uh, Chicago in May. Um, talked about the art community, uh, my experience with it. So that's pretty well it. These are the reasons why I don't go um, to any of them pretty well. Um, I've got my own community. I'm in a unique situation. And uh, pretty well because of that, I don't need to go to any of these. And uh, good on me, I guess. Lucky for what I do. And thanks. Thankfully, I got a great community of people that help me out and try to indirectly help them out. So there you go. That's why I don't go to uh, these trading conferences. Talk to you later.